Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna go over the rest of the wiring for the uh, 2JZ GE. Uh, if you didn't see the previous video, I'm gonna put a link down in the description. Uh, so if you wanna check out that first, uh, that way you can find a follow along with where we're at. I'm um, just kind of buttoning up some loose ends. Uh, so today I'm gonna go ahead and wire the OBD2 connector. And uh, I'm also going to show you which wire to run into the dash if you wanna run check engine light. Uh, it is low side switching, so basically if the bulb you're using run power to it and then the computer stands ground to turn the check engine light on. Pretty straightforward stuff. And then last but not least, uh, which wires for the electronic throttle control because I, uh, I forgot to hook it up on the other video, <laughs> which you're going to kind of need that too. So anyhow, um, let's get to it. All right, so let's start off with the uh, OBD2 connector, getting that wired in. It's pretty straightforward. The... Uh, in the very center of the F60 plug is this white wire with the two gray dots on it. It's right next to the main relay wire, and that is the serial data link wire. Uh, on the wiring diagram here, it's right smack dab in the middle, the one that says SIL. That's the check engine light wire, or the data wire, I'm sorry about that. So, uh, so basically, just run this over to the uh, OBD2 connector which it, uh, gotta love it inside the car, is the same color as it is on the outside of the car. White with the uh, two gray dots on it. So you plumb those together, and then this uh, purple wire here, which is, is positive, or needs to have switch power, and then of course, say it's not so, white with black is ground. So on the OBD2 connector themselves, where they're configured at is, let's get over here where I can uh, set this down so I can explain it. So if you have your OBD2 connector, the uh, this dot, the line there is pin location seven, and that is the data link four, which is that line right there. That's ground, and then this one in the upper right left-hand corner, number 16, is power. That's it. Pretty straightforward. And as you can see, my scan tool's on. If the uh, camera will focus on it, but. Um, I mean, it works. It pulls codes and everything. There's a gajillion of them. No shocker there. So anyhow, that's how you do the OBD2 connector. Three wires. Nothing to be scared of. <laughs> All right. So next is the uh, check engine light. So the check engine light is in the same F60 plug. And in the upper left-hand corner, the second one over is this red wire, red with black, and it's got the two gray, uh, two gray dots on it. Anyhow, that illuminates the check engine light. And uh, on your harness here, that is W. And then the one right next to W to the left that says plus BM, that is the electronic throttle control which is as I just said right in the up right here in the corner and this is blue with white wire with the two gray dots on it and uh, so I need to run power to this and power to this and um, should be pretty good to go I've reviewed most of the wiring so I'm assuming that uh, most of this shit can go bye bye so I'm I'm really tempted to take the plunge and just go ahead and cut it and um, that way I can get this thing to drive on its own. Well guys, I lost my outro from last night so I had to redo it. That's why I'm inside the house. Anyhow, um, I misspoke earlier about putting power to the check engine light wire. That's not correct. It just needs to go to the bulb. I've got diarrhea of the mouth there. So anyhow, I just wanted to clarify that. And I wanted to thank you for watching my video and appreciate you watching. And make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you could do that for me. That'd be really awesome. And I really hope it's, that you found this helpful. And I should have the truck running in a couple days, like running, running, so I can uh, kind of go over some more stuff with you. So anyhow, we'll see you next time.